Hey folks, this is Vince with Dance Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to quickly play Sons of Valhalla. So I released a video a couple of days ago, and you guys really seem to enjoy it, so we're going to go ahead and move on to level 3 today. It is important to stress that what you're looking at here is a preview build, so everything that you're about to see is subject to change. The game is due out in two days' time, so what you're looking at, for the most part, should be reflective of the finished product. So, if you didn't watch my other videos, what we're doing in this game is we're moving from left to right and getting to the boss and defeating it. That's typically what we're doing. We're going to have to get through a number of outposts first in order to do that. In this pre-built slot, we're going to go ahead and just create a barracks. And typically, it's either going to be, for the other one, a woodcutter hut or the fishing hut. We'll go with the lump, the woodcutter hut just because wood is important to build almost everything in this game. So with that said, like we're completely full up on like we, we've we've constructed all of our build slots, and the only way to get more is to upgrade our main mead hall here, which it's going to cost fourteen hundred and fifty of those coin thingies i don't know what they are so um use your double attack. yes more damage to enemies. thank you this guy has been stating the obvious for i don't know how long now <laughs> i mean i'm i'm glad he's catering to us old people but still all right let's go ahead and just take all this and um again if you're new to this game on occasion these runes will drop and these runes will be one of five, I believe, different categories, and you can hold so many runes per category. In this case, I have a third empty slot here. This one says, you have a lucky hand. Enemies will drop more loot. All right, so just add that, and great, yep. So there's like a sword category that's for like your personal melee attack, I guess, and then you've got a ranged one here, which is for your ranged attack, and then you've got this, I guess it's for your troops. It just buffs your troops. And then this one over here is for, I guess, your buildings or other things. And then lastly, this is like some really rare drops. These are like some really powerful special abilities that you can pick up over time. You can unlock more slots for each category, um, but uh, it does cost, like, you get a special rune resource, and then you spend those rune resources to unlock more rune slots. Okay, so let's just move over, and what is this? A cave? Oh, that's kind of cool. I like that little backdrop there. Okay, so we're already under attack. We need to be careful here. I like that. I like the... I like that little cave. It's really cool. My health is in the upper left-hand corner, as, long, uh, as well as my stamina. What are these people? Well, whoever they are, they just took an arrow to the face. Alright. We think we've got enough now. These guys look like some kind of, like, brawler unit. They're raising their fists at me like they're about to, like, Rocky Balboa me or something. <laughs> Alright, yeah, they, they, they're not messing around. Alright, let's come, let's come back. And I think we've got enough money now. Oh, yeah, look at that. And it looks like we are still getting regular shipments, too. Um, we In the first and second level, we got this boat that arrived every so often and would drop off all three different resources. So let's go ahead and upgrade our meat hall. To upgrade your buildings. Thank you. Possible once per city level. Yes. All right, so now that we've got this tower that our ranged units can go into, which is good. Uh, we've got a build slot here. Let's go ahead and make that our archery range so we can train more archers. And then I think for our other build slot, we're going to go ahead with a food building. So this fishing hut, although we need more coins for that. So let's head back out, kill some more guys, and we'll start doing that. All right. That charge attack is so powerful. It's just wiping the floor with everybody. All right. Now, I can possibly hit them if I angle this right. Oh, right in the face. That's good. Oh, <laughs> wow. Those arrows are nasty. They're like, this must be like javelins or something. Like, they're, they're hitting really hard. All right, we've got enough now. Come back. We'll we'll build our 
food building. And then once you upgrade your meat hall completely, you'll get another two build slots and then you'll be able to, you know, if you want to, start upgrading your your buildings to make them more efficient. This woodcutter hut, for example, I could spend some resources right now and upgrade how much wood I'm getting. But I would rather get all my build slots full first and then start upgrading. All right, so this fishing hut, we'll go with that. Here comes some more resources, which is good. We do have a little wolf dog thing here. Every time enemies attack, it'll start barking. Kind of like in Kingdom Two Crowns, whenever you get the dog, it'll start barking. Let you know that there's, you know, problems. You can see actually on the very bottom of the screen here, there's some red dots moving around. That means the enemies will be attacking. Yep, there they are. And all that loot on the ground is fish, which I'm full up, so I can't pick any more up at the moment. Okay, yep. So we're taking some serious hits from these people. Luckily on the bottom left, we have access to a healing ability. By hitting C, we start eating. Uh, we can eat so much of those. We also have a stamina one as well by hitting the V key. And if you need more, you can come back to this restock equipment area. Just hit the button and you'll automatically heal to full and restock all of your stuff, including the arrows that you're able to fire. Okay, so I spent some time off camera grinding out some resources so that I can upgrade the various buildings. Although you can't upgrade them completely until you upgrade your meat hall. The meat hall upgrade is required to further upgrade some of your other buildings. So um, at this point, I think I did as much as I possibly could without upgrading the meat hall to the final level, which you can see here is 2,200 of those coin thingies. So that's going to take quite a while to do. And I'm hoping that if I attack and defeat the next outpost, I'll get an influx of coin that I could then spend to upgrade this further. Let's go ahead and get everyone to attack. I did train a berserker, which costs three of the population cap units. And I also took some health upgrades, which costs coins. These upgrades will persist, I believe, from level to level. All right. Yeah, see, there's a nice treasure chest there for the taking. Lots of... Oh my gosh, what was that? So we've got some kind of mini-boss here. That's all right. We'll just use our special attack and... Nice. Those guys up there are nasty. So it looks like units will continue to spawn until we actually capture this territory. We'll hold everything off in the meantime. We haven't lost anyone yet. We can still have... We, you can see we still have 15 out of 15 up here. Uh, let's see if I can knock these guys down. Nice, that's one. Two. Ooh. <laughs> it took a hit at the last second there. Alright, let's see if we can capture this now. Um, we might have to actually take out everything first before we do that. Let's we'll just go ahead and finish these things off. Come on, there you go. All right, now let's go ahead. Oh, we don't want them attacking anymore. Follow me. Follow me. Okay, so it looks like we've captured this territory. And it says enter cave. That's interesting. Let's go ahead and check that out in a minute. First thing we want to do is repair everything. Here we go. And then we'll have everyone just sort of hold position right here. There we go. They should now hold position behind this gate. If we can, we want to upgrade this as soon as possible. Okay, so let's go ahead and construct a supply warehouse. This allows us to um, replenish our supplies, our food, our stamina drinks, our arrows, that kind of thing. We can trade food with this location. And we have the ability to hire one mercenary from this location like we could in the second level. It's either going to be a field medic which heals troops during combat, 
uh, a hunter, which is a very fast archer, or a pyromaniac. Now, in the level two that I uh, level two video that I released earlier, that pyromaniac was amazing. It it did so much work. So I'm really tempted just to hire that whenever we upgrade our population cap. But in the meantime, we have to be conscious of well. We're going to be attacked on a regular basis here in retaliation for what we just did. Oh yeah, they're coming. Alright, not too shabby, but as I was saying, I mean, taking out an outpost like this is a nice influx of cash. Alright, let's just pick everything up. Looks like there is an epic rune here. We can... Pick that up, inspect, there we go. So, catapults will be able to shoot faster. I mean, I don't really use catapults that much, so maybe I leave that. I'd rather have something that buffs units, which I use all the time. Whereas the siege weapons don't get constructed until much, much later. Units gain more stamina, they gain more health. Okay, okay, this one has catapult accuracy, which I'd rather have than attack speed, so. All right, that's fine. We'll just leave that one there. It's a shame you can't sell these runes for some kind of credit, but, you know, so it goes. Let's go ahead and repair this watchtower, prevent it from burning down, and then we'll also upgrade that and repair it. And from here, now it's just another grind fest. We have to fend off the enemy. Now we can fast travel back to our earlier settlement here and as you can see it's still going to take some time to upgrade uh yeah we need a lot and we don't even have yeah 2200 coins is a lot so i think again what i'm going to do is just kind of do a lot of grinding here off camera and we'll come back when we're ready to move forward surprisingly it didn't take that long uh <laughs> i was bombarded bombarded by the enemy and we managed to get a ton of coin defending so let's go ahead and upgrade our meat hall that'll give us uh, more unit cap and uh, building sites we get two more of those and speaking of which what should we build i'm thinking the siege workshop those walls will get more tough over time although the shaman's hut is very tempting because it does train healers and keeping my troops alive is great because then I don't have to spend resources to replace them. But I still think Siege is probably the way to go because Siege is really the only reliable way to take down walls. Otherwise, your guys are going to be banging their swords against the wall forever and nothing's going to happen. So I think this is the way to go. Let's go ahead and just go ahead and build a Siege workshop there. Getting a little low on wood. So we may want to consider upgrading our woodcutter's hut further at some point. Um, yeah, production amount will increase, storage amount will increase, but again, we need wood for almost everything in this game. And as far as this other building is concerned, I mean, we have a couple of options here. The blacksmith allows us to upgrade my personal equipment, which is great. Or again, I can go with the shaman's hut and get some healers as well. I think we'll save the blacksmith for later and we'll go with the shaman hut. I, I think healers are amazing. And we're down to nine troops right now. We're definitely getting attacked. Let's go ahead and replace some of our troops real quick. We'll do one healer there. Uh, can we upgrade our woodcutter? I think we can. And let's go ahead and build, I guess, a berserker, a swordsman, and some archers would do. There we go. All right, so it's going to take some time for all of that to happen. We'll go ahead and fast travel back and defend manually for a little bit. Oh, wow. Okay, they have a siege, a battering ram. They knocked everything down. That's okay. Good thing I arrived when I did. Our troops are useless, apparently. <laughs> That's all right. We'll rebuild our gate. And our watchtower, I, I hate spending resources to repair things, but, you know, so it goes. All right. We'll replenish our front lines here. I think that deserves a retaliation strike, assuming that's possible. At least we're getting a bunch of money out of it. Look at all that. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and switch over to my fire pot ammo. If you hold in the X key on the bottom left... Now, these are things that I've unlocked 
in my last my last level. This is like persistent. So I think I'm gonna do the fire pot, and if I can if I can do it right. Okay, there we go. We were we did something. I meant to hit the archers up there, but they are taking damage down there. Yeah, they're just kind of like standing in it. <laughs> so yeah. Now that recharges fairly quickly, which is good. So it won't take long to get that back. Let's go ahead and switch over to this tar pot, which I believe just slows them down. I don't think it actually does anything else. We'll see how that goes. All right, fire pot is ready already. That's good. Those archers are incredibly annoying. This is what I'm saying, like, just, they just keep coming. So look at how much money I, I accumulated in the last, what, three minutes? Oh, there's a rune I could pick up. What does it do? Oh, I might as well just take it. We've got an extra range slot. Tar pots will be restocked 20% faster. Uh, yeah, I mean, there's no reason not to take it until we get something a little bit better than that. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can just get our... There we go. Now, it didn't stay up there like I wanted it to, but yeah, people are burning back there. Let's go ahead and switch over to our fire arrows and see if we can't take this guy down. It is a little difficult to actually hit them because they've got like a little... Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> that did it. Oh, I, I set that building back there on fire. That's, that's actually really good. But you can see like if I batter on this wall, the health bar is barely moving. That's why I said earlier it's super important. Super important to get siege weapons because it's just going to take forever. Uh, let's go ahead and just continue. Is that going to hit them? No. Okay. I may have to throw it over the wall next time. Oh, someone wants to come out to play. We do have a shield that we can block with, and you can see you can actually control what direction you're blocking in, which is kind of cool. Although it does use your stamina, so you have to be conscious of that. You just can't sit here indefinitely and do this. You're much better off hacking and slashing. Uh, fire pot, I want to chuck that over the wall. Let's see if it'll let me. Uh, uh, nope. It's just I can't get enough enough of an angle on that. But hey, these guys are burning to death. I'm I'm fine with that. <laughs> yes, just stand in the fire, bask. All right. Okay, so I've actually taken some time to upgrade some things back at the old homestead. For example, the Shaman Hut. We're actually getting another fire pot upgrade at the cost of coins. These coins are a bit more rare. These, these gold coins typically don't drop very often, but they will upgrade a number of things for your character. So I'm going to get another fire pot because I'm really liking the fire pot and they increase the damage. So I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to go heavy on these fire pots. I just, I don't know why, I just, I'm enjoying the experience on using them. The tar pots, not so much. Um, then the shaman's hut, we can upgrade that further to uh, reduce production time. However, we don't really hire a whole bunch of shamans, so I'm just, I'm, I don't think I'm going to spend too much time doing that. What I really want to focus on is production, which I've got my fishing hut completely upgraded. I've got my woodcutter's hut completely upgraded. The Mead Hall, I could spend more of those coins to upgrade my personal stamina and my recharge rate for said stamina. I'm tempted to do that at some point. And then the Barracks, we can now train a couple of new units. We've got the, the Berserker, which we always had, but then we've got these Shielded Swordsmen, which costs two people as opposed to just one. They're upgraded versions. You have to research the technology first via here, and then you come over here, and you're, you're able to train them. There's better versions of the original swordsman. Same thing with the archery range. You have to research the flaming arrows, the fire arrow technology first, and then you come over here, and now you can trade um, archers that are a bit more powerful. And it looks like we're actually under attack. Um, we're losing people left and right up there. Let's go ahead and build ourselves a ram... And then we'll go over there and see what's going on. 
All right, so we're going to fast travel over here. We're losing a lot of people. Oh, it uh, looks like some kind of catapult or something. We lost our... Yeah, that's what it is. There's a little catapult here hidden behind. There's little sneaky devils. That's all right. We'll take them down. They're running, but they're not going to catch me. There we go. Nice. All right. All we got to do is repair a little bit. Looks like we're okay otherwise. Once our battering ram gets here, we'll go ahead and just go on the offensive, attack that settlement. I may have to hire a couple of new people. The question is, what did we lose? One thing I don't like about this game is it's hard for me to tell what my unit count actually is. It just says 15 out of 20, but it doesn't tell me what that consists of. How many swordsmen do I have? How many archers do I have? I would love a breakdown of what I have. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just hire this, maybe the field medic. As much as I like that pyromaniac, the field medic is better than my shamans. So, and it heals very well. So I think we're just going to hire him. We can only have one mercenary per each of these outposts that we're capturing. As you can see, there's an out grayed out. Okay, let's head back and get maybe uh, just a frontline fighter, probably. Yeah, we'll get one of these sorted, shielded swordsmen. There we go. All right, and that should do it. Oh, I pet the dog. Look at that. <laughs> I meant to fast travel, but hey, any any chance I get to pet the dog, I'm I'm all all about that. Now we're just waiting for our battering ram to get here. All right, I think we're ready to go on the offensive. Our battering ram is here. Let's go ahead and have just everyone attack. We'll use our fire pots just to kind of keep these guys busy. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, look at that. The top and bottom there. Beautiful. Let's see if I can get another one up there. Oh, beautiful. Those poor archers. <laughs> Alright, battering ram, where are you? Got my shield wall ability up. Should protect my guys for a little bit anyway. There we go. The battering ram is doing its thing. Now, I definitely know I need to get more stamina upgrades because this, this shield wall is amazing. It's just guarding everybody. But it's, it's as you can see in the upper left, my stamina is just continuously going down. All right, that's enough of that. We'll go ahead and drink, though. Get more. Come back. All right, that's down. Wow, look at all the coins. Oh yeah, they're, this outpost is toast. Ranged fighters will gain more health. Eh, I mean, honestly, I'd rather have damage. Ranged fighters should be in the back anyway. They shouldn't be taking damage if I do my job right and if I hire enough melee people. Okay, so now we just need to capture... Where's that guy going? Dude, where are you going? Get back here. I... Stop. <laughs> this idiot. Yeah, the, the, the AI in this game sometimes... Uh, yeah, follow me. Follow me. All right, now we hold position. All right. Now, what's cool about this is this is technically now a new mead hall. So we can go through the process of upgrading it and getting more build slots and the like. So this is going to be kind of our new home for a while until we get our, you know, barrack buildings up and running. I wouldn't mind getting a blacksmith as well, just so that um, I can start constructing and researching some upgrades for myself. Okay, so now that our population cap is 35 out of 35, I think it's time to take the fight to them. We'll go ahead and hit attack with these guys and then attack with these guys three berserkers a healer and whatever else i've got <laughs> let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of these guys if we can 
I've got some fire pots. Oh, nice. Can I just bombard the... Oh, beautiful. Oh, wow. We just wrecked them. Okay. What are these guys? They look like some kind of... Oh, and we've got some kind of mini-boss here. He's, he's in some kind of... Is that like a mini tank? What is it? A wooden medieval tank? What's up with that? That's all right. We've got these fire pots. That's no problem. Okay. Uh, we are almost there. Oh, we're out of fire pots at the moment. Some kind of, like, Sultan unit? I don't know. Well, whatever. I, I think we, we managed to, to take care of them. Okay, I don't think we want to move forward any more than this, so let's just hold back. Uh, follow me. And we want to hold position right here. All right, we are currently capturing the territory. There were some chests that we passed up and an altar. We want to take care of those quickly. And I think we've got a runaway here on the bottom. <laughs> Someone is attacking by themselves. Uh, the medic. What is this medic's problem? It, he's just constantly... He, I don't know what it is. Like, I've never seen a healer so, so gung-ho before. <laughs> <laughs> like, I want to use my bandages. I've got so many. All right, hold position. Um, let's go ahead and build a gate, can we? Oh, enemies nearby. There we go. That's built. And there should be a watchtower. Yep, we'll repair that. There we go. So now we've got some archers in there. We didn't lose anyone as far as I can tell, which is great. We're going to open this chest up. We got some coins, nothing major. And I think we got one of those runes where we can spend it to unlock another rune slot. So for example, if I get another one of these archer runes, I can click on this and spend one of these five runes to unlock that rune slot, which is kind of cool. Your city gates will be less damaged. Um, it's not stackable. So, I mean, I could just replace this with this. So yeah, that, that's fine. The other one's 20% and ours is now 40%, which is great. Ranged fighters will have more accuracy. I kind of like that, but it's only a green, so I kind of want to pass that pass that up in favor of, you know, other things. We'll go ahead and repair this watchtower and this gate, and let's go ahead and... There's a fast travel there. There's a crate. Oh, another one. Your unit swords will do more damage. 80%? Well, that is something we must have. Um, so, while being in your fortress, units will automatically be healed. That's, I like that one. It's gr it's very tanky, very defensive. Um, your units will gain more stamina. Melee fighters have more health. Beat enemies with low health. I, 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 I'm going to go ahead and switch that out. That's very situational in my opinion. Just hitting enemies while they're on the ground. Typically, I, I take them out before they even have a chance to even activate that ability. And we're under attack over here. Uh, that's okay. Our, our guys came prepared. Oh, we got another purple one here. What is that? Round boulders perform better. Boulders fired using the catapult will do more damage. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this slot here and just add it right in. Uh, guys, guys, guys. Guys, follow me. Quit, quit, quit. <laughs> it's like, it's like they want to die. It's like they want to die. Follow me. Come back here. Come back. There you go. And then just hold position. See, what's happening is, like, these enemies are, like, pulling aggro. And then this enemy pulls aggro, and then that enemy pulls aggro, and then that enemy, it's just, and then until they get to the gates. So, like, it's just better to micromanage that wherever possible. Some sort of defensive thing would have been cool, where, like, you could set a defensive uh, stance, as it were. I'm going to go ahead and get a supply warehouse set up here, and I could get another 
another mercenary if I had the population space. I mean, like, there's no reason not to attack again. We're full up. We're full up. So I think we just go all in. Uh, not that. That's a fire pot. Uh, let's go ahead and hit attack. And attack again. I forgot about those chests back there. I should really open those up. But again, the... Oh, oh boy. This is, this is going to get a little nasty. Oh, there we go. Fire pots to the rescue. Can we get it over the wall? No. Alright, I guess we'll just shield wall. Burn, baby, burn. I'm going to go ahead and pop one of those stamina drinks. We've got another one. Throwing spears will be restocked faster. I'm not using throwing spears right now, so I'm going to pass up on that. Um, I don't think... Actually, this one is your throwing spears can do your, uh, deal critical damage. Uh, I mean, this blue's better than green, so I guess we'll switch them out. I mean, it just makes sense. So this hammer guy is my blacksmith. Uh, you can hire like a special blacksmith unit that's super powerful. All right, so it looks like we're capturing this, and this is going to serve as another one of those. Oh, I, I think my medic is my medic is just. Yep. Yeah, okay. Yep. Yeah, follow me. He's having delusions of grandeur right now. He's like, oh, I got this, guys. Just I got this. Me and my medic bag. We'll take him out. Hold position. Hold position. And we want to upgrade this as soon as possible to get our walls nice and nice and sturdy. Again, this is another mead hall spot, so we can build more structures here if we wanted to. I'm not sure we really need to. I can always fast travel back to another spot and build from there without having to spend more money. Just makes sense to me. Let's go ahead and open those chests. There's a couple back there that I missed. New units will be able to attack enemies faster. Now that is probably good. Catapults have more accuracy. I'm not using catapults as much. I just think units, just, I think that's better. So we'll go ahead and switch that out. And that leaves that there. Let's go ahead and fast travel back to, wasn't this outpost, it was the one before it. And right outside our gates should be, yes, there's an altar there. And we'll have a choice of three different red runes. Um, you will be able to eliminate enemies with low health by striking them once while they are lying on the ground. Eh. This one is. Gives you the ability to shoot a powerful standard arrow. Hold the fire button until the force builds up completely. Or whirlwind. This rune allows you to create a powerful whirlwind attack. Hold down the left mouse key and quickly from left to right several and move quickly left to right several times to start the whirlwind that seems more annoying than anything i'm not sure which one i would take to be honest with you the powerful arrow seems kind of cool i think we'll take that one that might be good against bosses and the other two will just burn up and there's another rune thingy awesome we now have a population cap of 50 i'm just going to go ahead and do another ram Take down walls faster. Let's get more archers in there. And we have room for one more thing. I guess another swordsman. There, okay. That's going to take some time to do, of course. Not too long, hopefully. Let's see if there's any other upgrades that we can take in the meantime. Um, stamina regeneration. I think we'll take this stamina upgrade. We'll do that. And max level reached there for health. We'll take this stamina regeneration because why not? That's useful for boss fights. I mean, everything else is just kind of nice to have, but it's not really necessary. At some point, I want to upgrade these fire pots and make them stronger. But again, I need those special rare coin resources in order to do so. Let's go ahead and fast travel back here. And we'll just simply have to wait for our units to train and to catch up. What is going on out here? Who said that these guys can... Is it this medic again? It, it, what is up with this medic? 
Our medics are just suicidal. Uh, they're they're just <laughs> suicide. What's up with that? Get back here. Hold position. All right, guys. I'm not even gonna wait. Let's just continue our attack. I think I think we got this. We've got units in training in case any fall, so there's that. Um, okay, let's just fire pot these guys if I can aim high enough. Oh, there we go. There's one. What is that? Some kind of butcher unit? Oh, he's nasty. He means business. All right, he's down. Ooh, some kind of legendary rune. I've never seen these. Your city gates will receive more hit points. I'm going to go ahead and spend and unlock and add that there. Beautiful. That's the first time I've seen a legendary rune before. What just happened? Are those traps? Like, I'm, I'm falling from something, but I don't know what. Either someone is hitting me with, like, a spear or something. Oh, it's they're throwing some kind of wheel at me that's knocking me down. It's weird. Alright, let's go ahead and um, follow me. Follow me. Let's, let's capture this territory. Looks like we're capturing it already, which is good. If that's the case, I should be able to... Yep, there we go. Gate is ready. Watchtower. We'll hold position temporarily. Hold position. Let everyone catch up. I love the weather effects in this game. It's really good. Okay. Uh, let's just... Can we stop this from burning? Beautiful. Upgrade that. All right. Is our battering ram nearby? Oh, it is. Nice. I say we just continue. Let's just... Let's just continue while the sun is up and the weather is clear. Not that it really matters, but it's... It's really nice to look at. Not too far away. Can I... Nice. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. Oh! Oh, catapult. Okay. Okay. These walls mean business. Oh! <laughs> My shield wall ability has, like, a repulse thing if I let it go. Hang in there. That catapult's really screwing us up right now, but I think we got this. I can't tell what's going on anymore. Okay. That's down. All right, that catapult needs to go. All right, I think we're moving in on the boss. Ooh, taking some hits. Let's go ahead and pop a heal. Some stamina there. Now there's a rune on the ground. Let's see what that is. A st uh, sturdy shoes will help you move safely and will reduce the amount of required stamina. I, I kind of like that. I'm going to go ahead and unlock this last one here and add that. Stamina is super important. There's nothing worse than running out of stamina in a boss fight. Just saying. Uh, open chest. What is that? Oh, another thing. A faster saw will improve the production of wood. All lumberjacks will produce more wood. It's That's great, but I've already got this one, which is 30%, so it's just I, I can't really see myself equipping that. We're going to restock our equipment. Super important, because um, once you go in here, it's you versus the boss. So let's just go ahead, jump in, and we'll see who we're fighting this time. Apparently the hound from Game of Thrones. <laughs> My name is Thorold Olafsson, and I am 
looking for my wife, Rhea. Their trail led me to you. I you will release Rhea and the others, and you will feel my blade deep in your guts. You want to kill me? Don't make me laugh. <laughs> this dialogue. Try it. You will not be the first to fall to your death with your eyes open. You know, the king doesn't care about this part of the country anymore. Look where I live. Everything is decaying and food is scarce. Whoever can't work for me is only good as food for the dogs. Okay. Just eat <laughs> he likes to talk. <laughs> I'm just gonna skip this. What I mean. <laughs> okay. If I can get him to stand in the fire for a little bit. That doesn't seem to be doing anything to him. Like, it's not even slowing him down. That's weird. Okay. I may have to switch to arrows and see how that works. Melee definitely did something, but... Oh, okay, arrows. We gotta do the arrows then. Doesn't seem like headshots really matter. Just took an arrow to the face. He didn't care. Oh, he's pissed. Oh no, what's he doing? What is going on? Oh, lovely. That's not cool. I took damage already. Like, I had no control over that. How am I supposed to kill this thing? Can I go up there? I cannot. Uh, let's switch to fire and see if that thing is affected by it. Trying to throw it. Oof. Okay. Can you stand in this? It doesn't seem to do anything against it. I think he has to like stand in it for a long period of time if I had to guess. Um, what about the tar pot? That might slow him down. Is that actually doing anything? It's not. Okay, I've got javelins. I unlock that at the... Let's see if that does anything. Well, ooh, that was nasty. Ooh, okay, he's down. Let's switch back over to fire arrows. Rolling costs stamina, so I, I gotta watch how often I do that. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. So the uh, tar pot leaves oil slicks, and then you can set it on fire with those arrows. That's kind of cool. I mean, it makes sense, right? He's gonna call another dog, you watch. All right, let's drink real quick. Let's switch over to regular arrows, because we've got seven of those all ready to go. I like how the regular arrows and the fire arrows are on separate cooldowns, so you can always just switch back and forth between them. The fire arrows, for example, will restock over time automatically, and you can use your regular arrows. These aren't as powerful. I may have to start taking more of those upgrades as well. All right, so far so good. Another animal, probably. Another one, okay. Um, we'll just, again, do what we did and, oh my. Okay, that was close. I gotta like, I have to lure it to attack and then I have a couple of seconds of leeway. Oof. Except for that, that's the worst. Oh, out of- okay. Let's switch over to fire arrows. Although those javelins, though, are really good. I like those. Okay, um, switching over to javelins. One. What's he doing? 
Ooh, that was close. Ooh, nasty. I'm gonna he heal up just a little bit there. I think he's out of dogs. I don't see any more le levers on the wall. So, <laughs> so I guess he can catch fire, but it seems to be uh, more of a random thing. All right, let's do... Let's try the fire pot again just to see if he actually... I mean, he's standing in the fire. I mean, seriously, why isn't he not taking any damage from that? We got him. Ah, hold on. God, bring me his wife. Huh. The Lord, the woman escaped. I'm afraid someone, someone must have helped her. Helped her? Who? It was brought to my attention that Sir William took her. They might be no longer in our lands, Master. Uh, that cattle fraud. You heard it yourself, Thorold Olafsson. Your wife is no longer in my possession. I think that ends our argument, don't you? Mm. Be sure you will get what you deserve. Well. Don't you dare. <laughs> uh huh. Shocking. <laughs> Who saw that coming? What is your name? My name. My name is Rhea. I will free you now, Rhea. Follow me, but quietly. What about the other women? I will free them later. We have to hurry. Come on, follow me. O okay. This is new. Easily, if you throw it on the floor, try to extinguish the flame with that candle in front of you. Okay. Well done. Hide yourself in the shadows and try to avoid the lights. To hide, just press yourself against the wall. The guards won't notice you when they walk past you as long as you hide in the dark. Give it a try. Walk. E to hide. Okay. Sneaking reduces noises, and the guards will become aware of you much. Sneak. Well done. Okay. It's also possible to distract guards. To do so, you can throw these clay pots. While the guards will examine the impact, we... Good. It's not far now. Keep walking until you reach a sewer. Seriously? And what about you? Aren't you coming? I will save the others and distract the soldiers. We'll see you out there again. Be sure of it. Thank you for all that you have done for me. <laughs> what happened? What did you see? I... I think I saw my mother. Your mother? Hush, my child. The guards may hear you. Get out of here before they find you. Alright, so I guess I'm going this way. All right, so I've got water pouch. Oh, there's a wall. <laughs> now, do these recharge over time? It doesn't look like it. Oh, restock equipment. There we go. So this guard, I'm going to have to distract somehow. I wonder if I can throw something in the other room and he'll... Oh, he's sleeping. Maybe I can put the candle out? There's that. Okay. It woke him up, but... Now we switch over to the clay pot thing. 
Hide. Okay. He's going. Okay, that was close. <laughs> oh, here comes someone else. We gotta hide. <laughs> okay. Well, so far, so good. Uh, I'm, I'm not a fan of these stealth sequences, I gotta say. And it doesn't seem like the lights stay out for a long period of time. Um, water pouch. Switch to a clay pot and we'll attack that wall behind us. Oh, no, we wanted a clay pot. Um. Oh, no, no. What ha- oh. So I was supposed to go through the door? Is that it? Let's try that again. Oh, I just had to go through the door. I thought I'd get past him. Okay. So restock. And crawl. I'm not sure I like this little mini game, to be honest with you, but, you know. I see an enemy there. Okay, well, <laughs> I guess I got too close. I have a feeling that she's going to die several thousand times until I get out of this stupid castle. So I'm guessing I throw it toward the wall then? How? Seriously? As soon as I got out? That doesn't make any sense. All right. All right. Okay. Throw it. Okay. Switch to the pouch to put out the water or not. I'm trying to put that stupid water out. Oh, that didn't do anything. Okay. Can you turn around, please? That would be awesome. Okay, come on, walk on by. Walk on by. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. How am I supposed to get past this? <laughs> well, they're technically they're sleeping, right? They're not going to notice. Nope, they noticed. Oh, come on. Okay, so note to self. You need to get past that one sequence. Wow, okay. Let's try sneaking. We'll see if that works. Apparently it does. How does this guy know that I'm here? That's so weird. This guy's sleeping. This one is not. How in the world? Okay. So I need to take... Where am I supposed to go with this? Put out the light, hide. Let's try... Let's try the water pouch. Right. And see, the problem here is... Uh, let's clay pot all the way back there if we can. 
Another one. Oh, so I guess you have to sneak. Please, please. Okay, good. I'm starting here. That would be awful if, if I didn't start there. Okay, wake up. We'll sneak. And then we'll hide. He's going to go back and go to sleep. But this guy, that's the problem. Okay. Sneak, sneak, sneak. Sneak, sneak. Okay, okay, we're getting it. We're getting it. We're getting it. There's two different doors. Seriously? Um, we're back near the prison again? All right, we've got a clay pot. We'll use the water pouch instead. We'll put that light out and then that light out. And then we'll hide here. Hopefully he'll pass and then we can sneak on by. Perfect. There's a key there. He's sleeping. I'm hoping that he won't notice me doing this. Take key. Okay. And there's a door up there. Maybe I'll get lucky. So what? I, I can't go up here? It's not letting me climb these stairs. So maybe I have to go back the way I came and into the other door? Where's he at? Oh, that was close. Sneak. Uh, we should restock first. Head back down. We got a key for something. And now we go into this door. And now we got to figure out... Oh! This door's locked. I have to find the key. Um... What happened to the key that I literally just picked up? <laughs> what happened to that key? This door's locked. I have... Don't tell me I have to get that key again. Oh, maybe that key unlocks something here. And then I get another key, which opens that. That could be it. Oh, I didn't see that card there. Uh... <laughs> this, this poor woman is just being butchered. <laughs> uh, so where did we start? Oh, we started back here. We have to go back through this door. And we went to the right. And there's a guard in here we got to watch out for. I don't see him. Oh, he's sleeping. We'll sneak on by. It's locked. I have to find a way to open it. Okay, so that's yet another door we cannot open. So at this point, oh, let's just, did I make it in time? <laughs> I guess I did. Um, I could go this way, right? Yeah. Okay. That guy's sleeping. Not a problem. This guy coming up is facing in my direction, so I have to find a way to get by him. Okay. Um, can I hide? Okay, I can hide there if I put that light out. Okay. Um, oh, this is bad. 
This is bad. Turn around, please. It's a shame I can't just hit them in the head with the clay pot. Speaking of which, um, you investigate that. Oh, so apparently guards don't really notice things from door to door. Interesting. Uh, sneak. Crawl. How large is this place? What's wrong with that chandelier up there? It does not look very sturdy. Not at all. There's one guy there, I think. Let's knock that down. I don't know what that did, but it did something. And if we come back out, maybe we'll see the result of that handiwork. Oh, yeah, there it is there. Question is, what did it do? Did it kill somebody? I can't tell. Uh, uh, get in the door. <laughs> okay. All right, back out. Maybe he'll reset. He did. Okay. Uh, no, not what I wanted. I, I'm trying to switch. There we go. Hmm. So he doesn't go any further than that. I need to put that light out and then hide somewhere here. All right, nothing to see here. Nothing to see. I can't show myself now. I gotta wait. I can try and clay pot that wall. Oh, come on. I moved an inch. Oh, this this is the most awful sequence. Oh, I see. That's that's the reason for the whole chandelier bit. You have to knock down the chandelier to get rid of those boxes. Interesting. Hmm. There's no way to cancel that. Like, there's no way to cancel this. Like, what if you don't want to throw it? That you're you're, you're kind of locked into the animation, which is not good. Maybe I'll throw it into the room further. That might be the way to go. And then he'll come back, right? So if I show myself and then throw it further into the room, they'll investigate that. I'll hide here, wait for them all to go back to sleep, and then just sneak on by. No, no, keep walking. Keep walking. Come on. Okay. Sneak. There's another key.
Seriously, I have to like go all the way back. At this point, I've forgotten. I've forgotten where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> All right. Um, this is another case where I hide and I need to throw the clay pot further into the room. Wait for him to walk back this way. Although if I throw the clay pot, I have to hide almost immediately. The other option is if I can sneak right here and then hide. He'll walk on by in theory and then I should be able just to walk by. All right, careful. Sneak. Okay. All right, there's a restock station there. Beautiful. Now this led upstairs to the... Yeah, so there's nothing here for me to worry about. So now I have to go back the way I came here. Crawl. This reminds me of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade for, this, for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Oh, does he see me? There was a, a castle level where you had to take Indy through the damn castle to rescue your dad. That's what this part reminds me of, and it was just as tedious. Hide. And show... Sneak, sneak, sneak. There's a door there that was locked, if I remember correctly. Maybe one of the keys that we got will open that. Okay. So there's that. We still have another key that we haven't used. So I'm, I'm really curious to know what else we're missing. This guy's going to be a pain. Hide. Okay, hiding there. How far in does he go? Um, maybe if I'm super quick. That light is concerning me though. Yeah, he saw me. Can I possibly get to another door? Something, I wonder if it's the sewer. There's no recourse here. I have to go back the way I came and then find that stupid sewer. Okay, so it looks like I lost the guard. Going into this section, actually lost him, which is good. It's like they have trouble seeing through doors like this. All right, we'll sneak on by... Boy, is this tedious. Restock. Head on through. Oh, are you s seriously? Are you serious? Who thought that this level would be a good idea? Like, honestly, who thought this would be a good idea? All right, we're going to try going to the right this time because that's where the sewer was, but I don't remember exactly where it was. There's a guy there. I think that's the sewer right there. Yeah, it is. Pretty sure. Why 
we still have that one key that we picked up, so I'm not exactly sure what we're supposed to do with that, unless it's like the key to get out of the sewer. Now there's different ropes. Okay, first rope. Second rope. Third rope. What did that do? I don't know what that did. Oh, good. There's dogs. Okay, well, can we hide here? Let's put this light out. Because I don't know if that dog can see me or not. Or if that's just for show. I have no idea what that little brown container is over there. Stuff is just falling into it. Uh-oh. Kick him in the face. There you go. <laughs> I mean, it's not like he can move a whole lot in there. Wow. So that was like a bonus segment. Now we're moving on to the fourth level. All right, folks. Well, there you go. Sons of Valhalla. I could have done without that sequence, to be honest with you, but... Soul. Who do we have here? It's just like the raven said, sir. Yes, indeed. You are Thorold Olofsson's wife. I am delighted to meet you. Forgive me for asking. But who are you? My dearest, please call me Sir William. You and I are going to take a little trip. Well, that's always a good thing. All that work for nothing. Now I'm getting double dragon vibes. Marion being carried off. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, assuming that I get a lot of views on these videos. Okay. You can now recruit them in the barracks. Great. Assuming that I get a lot of views on this particular video, I'll go ahead and, you know, record some more content for you. Uh, this is Vince. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you all next time. Take care.